Yo, what's up everyone? Nick Smith is back here with another video. Today, it's Michael Porter Jr. Is he really the next Kevin Durant? Because that is what his coach said about him. He said Kevin Durant crossed Kevin Garnett. Now, I know Michael Porter Jr. is a beast. He's a phenom. He'll be one of the best players entering this year's NBA draft. Kevin Durant's one of the best players in the world, despite how much hate he gets. Is Michael Porter really the next Kevin Durant? Well, we're going to break that down in this video. But before I get started with that, your boy has a new Instagram account. And I know so, most of you guys are going to be like, come on, Nick, we don't want to hear about this. Seriously, I know you got a phone. Just get out your damn phone. Go on Instagram, follow your boy. I'll follow some people back because uh, I don't follow anyone on that account. It's not my personal account. It's just my Nick Smith account. I'll be posting heaps of different things on that. Upcoming videos, some secret stuff that you won't find on the channel and you won't find on Twitter and all that kind of stuff. I'll be doing giveaways on that Instagram account, NBA2K18. It's my Nick Smith merch account. The link is in the description box down below. I can get, I can keep you guys updated with all the new merchandise on the store. So that's pretty much the plan. Definitely go follow. I'll follow you back. If, uh, if I get around to it. But yeah, like I said, follow my Instagram account, subscribe, leave a like. Let's get into the Michael Porter Jr. video, okay? He reminds me of a combination of when they were at high school stage, Kevin Durant and Kevin Garnett. These are the words of Coach Martin. For those that don't know who Coach Martin is, he is an elite coach, winning championships and the MVC Coach of the Year in 2011. But not only that, he was an NBA player himself and knows what it takes to get to that level. In fact, in the 2015-16 season, Martin coached the California Golden Bears, led by freshman All-Americans Jalen Brown and Ivan Rapp, to a 23-win regular season and a number 4 seed in the NCAA tournament, where they lost in the first round. Now, Jalen Brown, he is known as one of the best upcoming players in the NBA, and obviously he was a top 3 draft pick in the NBA draft a few years ago. My point is, as good as Jalen Brown was heading into the NBA, his coach didn't compare him to anyone. So for him to compare Michael Porter to a combination of Kevin Durant and Kevin Garnett is saying something. In saying that, words don't mean anything if actions don't show. But man, his actions show. There's no denying that having an elite athlete like Michael Porter Jr. who has the ability on a roster enough to make any coach excited and that's probably why Coach Martin compared Michael Porter to Kevin Durant and Kevin Garnett. But comparing young players to Kevin Durant is almost never fair. Despite how much hate he's received this past season with the move to Golden State, he's still no doubt one of the best players in the NBA. Unfortunately, he made a bad decision. In fact, he made one of the worst decisions of all time in the NBA. He ruined the NBA, but hey, we can't change that. So let's just move on. Not to mention, it happens entirely too often. When a tall, skinny player can shoot three-pointers, they almost always seem to be compared to Kevin Durant. Same as big, athletic small forwards with great passing skills, always seem to be compared to LeBron James. And honestly, it's unfortunate, but it happens in all sports. It's just a way to predict a player's future at their highest ceiling possible. Clearly evident by Brandon Ingram being the most recent example of this, compared to Kevin Durant. So what makes Kevin Durant unique? Well, he's a 7 footer with an unbelievable handle and one of the best shots in the world. He can protect the rim from the weak side and is a devastating defender when he needs to be. So can you see where the Durant Porter comparisons might come into play? Those attributes essentially describe everything that Michael Porter can do at a high school level. Now obviously those comparisons are not saying that Michael Porter is as good as Kevin Durant, but could he be the next Kevin Durant? And in my opinion, I think he could be, and here's why. Now, don't let these comparisons get too blown out of proportion just yet. Durant came in the NBA polished, but he worked after he got in the NBA and became an MVP. So yeah, that's a lot to live up to. But in my opinion, just like Zion Williamson can be compared to LeBron James, I think it's fair to say that Michael Porter Jr. can be compared to Kevin Durant. And I'm not just going to say that, I will state the facts in this video. But before I do, in the past, there have been players that have been compared to Kevin Durant, like I said before, such as Brandon Ingram, the most recent example, who honestly, in my opinion, has not that much in common with Kevin Durant, other than their actual similarities in terms of the build that they are, 
and Ingram entered the NBA with a slight build of 6 foot 9, 190 pounds, which is early reminiscent of Kevin Durant, who was listed 6'9, 215 pounds when he starred at Texas. Obviously now Durant's current weight of 240 pounds is something that Ingram is trying to match, but I don't know how much more Ingram will grow, because as we know, Kevin Durant entered the league at 6 foot 9 and is now about 6 foot 11 to 7 feet tall, which is taller than some of the centers in the NBA right now. DeMarcus Cousins is only 6 foot 10 and Dwight's the same height at 6 foot 11. Now, why am I saying this? Well, because Michael Porter is around the same height as the current day Kevin Durant. He's 6 foot 10, 215, heading into his current season. Now let's dive into the stats and these are their high school stats. Michael Porter Jr's high school stats at Nathan Hale and Kevin Durant's high school stats at Montrose Christian which that was his final year of high school. So comparing them, you can see that Michael Porter literally dominates in points. He averages 37 points a game, 14.3 rebounds, 2.6 assists, 0.9 steals, and 0.5 blocks. Durant, on the other hand, is better on defense if you want to say 2.6 blocks and 3 steals a game. He averages 0.4 assists more than Michael Porter Jr., but he doesn't average as many rebounds, averaging 10.2 and 23.6 points per game. That is crazy. That's at the same age. Now, comparing their high school special events, you can see the All-American game by Michael Porter Jr. and Kevin Durant's All-American game are quite similar. Durant obviously had more shots, as you can see by the stats, meaning that he was going to obviously score more points than Michael Porter Jr. And then when you look at the Nike Hoop Summit, they're pretty comparable stats, and they're pretty similar to say the least. So overall, these guys are comparable, and Durant's weakest strength is probably his defense in the NBA, which is something that Michael Porter really, really lacks. The thing is, what Kevin Durant is most strongest in is his offensive game, but Michael Porter literally demolishes him at the way that he scores and rebounds. So it's really interesting, and you can see where that rebounding kind of compares with Kevin Garnett more so than Kevin Durant. But offensively, they weigh the same amount, and Michael Porter averages 37 points a game. Insane. What differentiates Durant above everyone else though, is his combination of size and shooting ability, which is unmatched in today's game. And that is not even a question. Despite what people say about him, nowadays his move to Golden State, it doesn't matter. I think we can all agree that talent wise, he is still one of the best players in the league, no questions asked, because he is. He is that unique where he displays skills similar to a guard in a forward's body, which is exactly what Michael Porter Jr. possesses. He is Kevin Durant without the snake. To give you an idea of how good Porter truly is, he scored 31 points and grabbed 19 rebounds in an insane 62-60 victory over Barstow at the University of Missouri Arena. Now this isn't the first time players have been compared like this. Obviously there have been tall players who can shoot very well from the outside and can also dribble up and down the floor. So what makes Michael Porter the next KD? First of all, Michael Porter Jr. has grown up under his parents, who for those that don't know, were elite athletes themselves. His father, Michael Sr., is 6 foot 4 and played for the University of New Orleans. His mother, the former Lisa Becker, is 6 foot 4 and averaged 54 points a game in 6 on 6 play her senior year in the state of Iowa and started four years at the University of Iowa and with USA Basketball in the 1985 Jones Cup. Porter has literally been brought up with basketball his entire life. Not to mention he has seven brothers and sisters. So just like the Ball brothers who have all the hype, I'm here to start up the hype for the Porter brothers because yes, he has a brother who is dominant too. 16 year old Jonte Porter is a 6 foot 9 sophomore who is expected to grow to 7 feet tall and has already committed to play for Washington. He scored double figures on Tolton State Championship game. Then there are still Coburn, who's 14, Javon, who's 11, and Isaac, who's 9, who all play basketball too. Meaning, depending on how good they are, this may just be like the Ball Brothers, where we can actually see a range of the Porter boys entering the NBA. And I definitely want to make a video on Jonte Porter, because he is insane and arguably going to be better than his older brother. 
Now, let's really break it down, because as crazy as it sounds, Michael Porter is more of a current day Kevin Durant, than Kevin Durant actually coming in as a rookie. The similarities are just clearly shown in the way they play. I mean, you can see Porter, just too lean and tall to shoot above his defenders, as Kevin Durant does. He has multiple scoring moves that most players at his age don't have in their arsenal, and his court vision is amazing for an almost 7 footer. Breaking down his game, this is what people come out thinking after watching him. Number 1. His ability to utilize his handles and create shots for himself. He can literally pull up from wherever he wants, including deep three-point range and easy mid-range shots because of his length and his post-game is strong. And when he pulls up, he doesn't have to shoot from the three-point range, he can pull up on a mid-range shot or get to the rim and finish above it with athleticism. I think it's fair to say that simply, he's just a freak of nature. 7 feet tall, athleticism, can shoot, can facilitate, has handles, I mean, honestly, does that remind you of anyone? He's virtually going to be unstoppable if he can reach his full potential. And number two, the thing that makes Porter incredible to watch is the fact that he's so tall and still, his athleticism and length make him a constant threat in half court sets, but if the play breaks down, he can create for himself. That's a pretty rare prospect, particularly at his size. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now, Michael Porter Jr., like I said, he's going to be a phenom entering this year's NBA draft. Is he really the next Kevin Durant? I guess we're going to find out over time. But like I said at the start of the video, please go down below to my new Instagram page. Follow my Instagram account. Also, we released a lot of new merchandise to the store. So if you guys want to pick up some Nick Smith merchandise, go over to the store. Heaps of new merchandise. And let me know down below or on Instagram, actually, what type of merchandise you want to see. Do you want to see more NBA merchandise with different players? Lonzo Ball, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, whoever you want. I can make merchandise on them. Or we can just do the normal Nick Smith hoodies and things like that. So let me know down below. Go on Instagram. Please follow me. I'll follow back. And I just got to grind, man. I have been slacking on these videos. The NBA season is not really doing anything at this point. So I got to get back on the NBA grind and keep grinding videos for you guys. So that's what I'm going to try and do. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Stay tuned. Peace.